A life without a daily arts experience is an impoverished life. It's a life that is not reaching the full measure of its potential. And we can actually say that with data now. For the last 60 plus years, since the 1950s, when we had the kind of uh, real emphasis into science and technology, what you might call STEM now, we've had all kinds of studies, big longitudinal studies that have gone across generations to look at the effects of science, technology, but also arts and the humanities on communities, on people, on schools, on medicine and health and, and, and things like this. In school, because a lot of you are still in school, you will get higher academic scores. Your classrooms will have lower uh, uh, rates of attendance problems, lower rates of discipline problems. You will have higher standardized test scores. We know even cognitively from a physiological standpoint, if I put up a, a slide of your brain, I could show you your brain on music over here because the corpus callosum, which is that band of fibers which connects the left and right side of the brain for violin and piano students is on average 14 and percent thicker. Think about that for all of you artsy people who also have a background in science and technology and math and physics like I do. You have 14 and percent more connections between your left and right side of your brain. That's a huge, huge advantage. So physiologically, it can do incredible things for you. Also, if you look at it in terms of your lifelong health, it staves off things like dementia, and it's being used now in terms of music therapy programs to help people with Alzheimer's recover memory, for Parkinson patients to recover movements that they didn't have. We are just now beginning to understand the extraordinary powers of music to change our minds and bodies. But even if you're just super, super pragmatic and you just want some nuts and bolts things, you're going to get into a better college. People that have played an instrument will make more money. They have a higher income potential in life. They're 57% better looking as well. And <laughs> no. I threw that one in to see if you were still listening. <laughs> Once people graduate college and are reaping the benefits of a higher income potential, they are more likely to join a community service organization. They're more likely to be engaged with their neighbors and fellow community members. They are more likely to volunteer for any of you, and this is actually all of you, because you will all hopefully be in a position to advocate for the importance of arts and education in your futures, whether it's in your families or your communities or in the state legislature. This is an impressive statistic that I will tell every congressman and senator every time I see them. I say, you know, you've got skin in this game to support the arts and sciences. And this is why. For anyone who has had a daily arts experience as part of their K-12 education, when they graduate high school, they're 40% more likely to vote. Think about that. Next time someone tries to take away your middle school string program, just remind the people that are talking about that, that in four years, those are the voters. So this is, this is really powerful to me, because I think about music partly as an opportunity to show just the wonders and benefits of having these things in your daily life. Thank you. <laughs>